We're now on Daf Samaches Amid Beis. Ibra, if she became pregnant from them, lo sochal betruma. The ubar is posel oso milechal betruma. And just like a Baskoin who gets married to a Yisrael, and then her Yisrael husband dies or divorces her, if she's pregnant, she's not allowed to eat truma. And this derived from the Pesach Bas Kohen Kisi Almano Grusha Vizera Einla Vishava El Beis Avia Kinu Reha Milechem Avia Tochal. And the Gemara back on Daf Samat Zayin Amid Beis Darshins from the word Kinu Reha that if she's pregnant and she's not Kinu Reha, Eino Choseres Lechol Betru. Nechtach Ubar B'Mei B'Mei Eha. If, on the other hand, the Ubar was destroyed, and it's as if he doesn't exist, it's Tochal B'Truma. She can eat, she can eat Truma immediately. The same Din Rashi says would apply if she gave birth and then it died. Hoya Kohen Sheba al Yisrael so if a Kohen had an Ones or a Peter relationship, Shalom Hashem Kiddush, the Bas Yisrael, or if a Kohen Shota married her, so that's not Kiddush. Lo Sochal Betruma, she's not considered married to a Kohen, and she's not Kenyan Kaspar Shal Kohen Ibra. If she became pregnant from them, Lo Tochal Betruma, because an Ubar is not Machil, Imo Yisrael is Betruma, Yolda, if she gave birth, tochal betrum. So since she had a child from the Kohen that she was married to, she's a Israelis, but she's married to a Kohen, she had a child from him, she can eat from Nimsa kocho shall ben godo mishal ah. Meaning that the Boel could not be machel truma because he didn't make a kin. But Beno, his son, could be machel her truma. But Evid Posel, he muscles of Mikuna and from eating Truma. Mishum Bia, because if he had a relationship with an Isha Ruya Lechel Betruma and a Bas Cohen who has Zera, um, Yisrael Kosher, and her husband died. And let's say in the case of, again, we're talking about an Isha, a Ru'iyah Lechel Betshuma, and an Evid is Posel. So let's say as a result of that relationship, the Bas Kohen has a Zera that is an Evid who came from Yisrael Kosher, and then her husband died, is her Eved Eino Posa. Mishum Zer. So again, an Eved is Posa from Kahuna Mishum Bia, but not Mishum Zer. So Baskoin, who has Zera Eved Mi Yisrael Kosher. So she had a relationship with the Yisrael Kosher. Is then the Eved is not posel for her to go back to each room of space of Via Bishum Zera. So he writes here in the note. How is it possible that she has a Zera Eved Mi Yisrael Kosher 
is Nisa Bas Yitzchel Kohen, O Bas Kohen Yitzchel, the old I met a bed, and now her husband died, and now the Bas Yitzchel eats truma because of Bidna, or the Bas Kohen does not eat truma because of Bidna when she's married to Yitzchel. Holach Aben V'Nichbash, What does it mean? Holach haben, the sun went, the nichbash, ala shivcha. So he had a relationship with a shivcha. A hoisa aim aviv bas yisra. So the mother of his father of the Evid is Abbas Yisrael, Shenissa Lekohen. Lo Sochal Betshumi. He has a picture, a diagram of this here. He has a Kohen, Shenissa Abbas Yisrael, Nolilem Ben, Boha Ben Al Shivcha, Venolid Lehem Ben Shu Evid. Umesu ha Kohen ubeno. Are Yasura bas Yisrael lechol betshuma. She af she be alma im yeshla zerem ibala ha Kohen ocheles betshuma. She only come come can. Shu eved eno nechshav ki zera ha Kohen. Trehu mitu misyaches achar imo ashivcha. The Asura aim of Iv, Abbas Yisrael, Lahamshich Lechel, Bitruma. But means she doesn't have a Zeremi coin, she only has this Evid, and the Evid is not Messiah Slavosov, he's not considered Zaro, and therefore she doesn't have Zeremi coin. I mean, if, in biological terms, she does, but not in halachic terms. And therefore, Im Hoysa aim of Iv shall Evid Zebas coin. Shenis Yisrael, Tochal Betruma. But in a case where the aim of this event is a Bas Cohen who got married to Yisrael, and she has no Zera Mi Yisrael except for this Evid, he's not considered Zera, then she goes back to Yitruma Mamzer, Posel Umachel. Kaitzna. Bas Yisrael. Shenisei Slikoen. Ubas Kohen Shenisei Slikoen. The old name in Ubas. Umes Bailo. Viato. Bas Ha Yisrael. Ocheles Petruma Mishabita. So we had the case of Bas Yisrael who was married to a Kohen. And she had from this Kohen a Bas. So the Bas Yisrael can continue to eat truma because of Bito. And the Bas Kohen, who is married to Yisrael, is Ocheles Petruma Mishum Bito. Holcha Abbas, Venisais Leevit Oliovi Kochov, the old man who ben a raise them mamze. Now, since there's no Kedushan Tovsin, the other the emo, a raise them mamze, Umesa Abbas, Venisha Bak Benoha mamze. Nevertheless, Hoysa Aim Emo, Bas Yisrael Le Kohen. So the mother of the mother of this mamze is a Bas Yisrael who is married to a Kohen. And her husband died. Tochal betruma. Why? Because zera posel nechshav zera, and now it's considered like she has zera from the coin, so she can eat truma. But if Aim Ima was a bas coin that was married to Yisrael, and her husband died, lo tochal betruma, because she has zera. Me Yisra. 
Kohen Gadol Pa'omen Shu Posel Abbas Kohen from eating Truma, Ketzad, Bas Kohen Shinisa Li Yisrael, the old Amen Abbas. The husband died, and now there's no Bas to the Kohen. I'm sorry, the Bas Kohen is not able to eat Truma because of Bita. Baholcha Bas, bin Nisais Le Kohen. The Yolda Hemenu Ben, a Reze Roy Leos Kohen Gadol Omid of Mishamish Al Gabi Mizbeh. Umachil Bichumes Imo, she's a Bas Yisrael, even after the, the death of his father, who posel Aim Imo, because she's a Bas Kohen and she cannot go back to the Truma base of Via, even if Bita of Mesa if our daughter dies. I read in if Selas Machmas Ben Bita Koin Godel, who has Zera Shalomi by Law Hayisrael. And Skenosos also Meres, Lo Kivni Koin Godel, Shehu Posleni Min Hatruma. So let's go over the last case in the Mishnah. We have a Bas Kohen that got married to Israel, and they had a Bas. So as a result of that Bas, she, the Bas Kohen, cannot eat Truma because of Zera from the Israel. But the paradox here is that this Bas married a Kohen and had a child, a Ben, who could be the Kohen Gadol, who's actually the grandson of the Bas Kohen that married a Yisrael, a, a Yisraeli. But it doesn't matter. The Bas Kohen, the grandmother, she can't eat Truma as a result of her grandson, even though he's the Kohen Gadol, because his relationship to Kahuna is through his father. That has no, no relationship at all to the grandmother of the Bas Kohen. His relationship to the grandmother is only through the Bas, and she's the daughter of an Israeli, and therefore, she cannot eat shroom. So she, she comments his grandmother at the end, Lo kibni koi godol. Lo yirbu bisrael kibni koi godol. She calls him bni, but it's really ben bni because ben bno is, is ben bonim is bnei bonim are in kibonim. Shu poslani min And that's not, it's not exactly so that he passes off from truma. He's a coin. He doesn't pass off from truma. The, the one who passes off from Truma is uh, the mother of this uh, Kohen God, meaning his, his own, his mother, who's a Bas Yisrael, who maintains the grandmother's relationship to Israel, to her husband Israel. The Gemara says, Tanina Laha de Tanura Bon. The Mishnah is really teaching us a din that's already included in the Bryce. And what does that mean? There are no kedushin to a shote, even mitrabonim. The shote of a cotton should not soon notch him in meitzu. So if the shote of the cotton was married to a woman, and then he died, the shote of the cotton, the shoseim pturos menachalitzim and ayibim, because these ladies were never married to the deceased uh, brother, their husbands, because. Uh, there's no Kenyan that can be co-faced through a shot and a cut. Now the Mishnah says, Ketzad, Oya Yisrael Shebal Bas Kohen, Tochal Bitruma, Ibra Lo Tochal. Okay, so what we have here is the following. Abbas Yisrael is married to a Kohen, and they have a son. The son has a relationship with a Shivcha from whom an Evid is born. Now, the Kohen and his son die. 
So the Bas Yisrael is Asur Lechel Betshumo. And even though she has Zera Mibala HaKohen, which normally would let her eat Shuma, but here it's different because the only Zera she's left with after her son dies is the Eved. And he's not considered Zera HaKohen. So the Gemara asks the following Kasha, Kevon de Ibra, since we know for sure that she became a Muberes, Okay, now let's let's try to um, second. Let me backtrack here for a second. He says, Ibra lo tokal betruma. That the Ubar apostles her from eating truma. So again, Yisrael Shabal Bas Kohen. And, and therefore, she can eat truma because she wasn't miskajalo. He says here, Kevon de Ibra lo tochal is lechu shem Ibra. So in the case of Baal Leha, we don't know if she became pregnant from that beer, but there is a logical possibility that she became pregnant, and had she become pregnant, then she would not be able to eat truma. Is Milos Nan, don't we have a Mishnah of two men that married two women. And at the time of Knesset Lechup, there was a, a mix-up. He's my Frishan son, Shlosha Chadashim, and Mamu Beres, and the children of Mamzer. And if we're not going to be mafresh them, we don't know whether the Vlad is a kosher or possible. And we'll assume that the Ubrim are from the Baal because of the principle of Robilos Acharabal. So you see clearly that with Choshesh for Ibur, and this is even on one beer. So therefore the Bas Kohen that had a relationship with Yisrael, we should prohibit her from eating true because of a chashash that maybe she's Muberis. And the more answer is, Omer Rabba Baravuna Liyuchsin Choshesh, but Lechuma Lo Choshesh. So when we're dealing with yuchsin, we have a mila also the yuchsin mila, and the choshish even on bia achas. That maybe maybe she became pregnant, but in truma, one bia is not enough to create a suffix that we should be choshish that maybe she became pregnant and therefore she's possibly lachilas truma. The ritva says the reason why the machmir in the isa yuchsin more than the isa truma is because the Suffolk, if she's a Kohenes, this this Abra Israel, we should be mamed her al cheskasa, shaisa muteres pachilus truma. And therefore, if there's a Suffolk in this Abra, in a case where the Vlad would be a mamzer, then we don't have a cheskas het. Is it true that in Sveikas, we're not choshesh, to aser her and pasal her from eating truma v'atanya, we have a price of the Bas Yisrael is Nesua Le Kohen, and she has no Zerah from the Kohen, and he gave her a get, and he said to her, Reza Gitech, Shachas Kodem Lumisasi, Asura Lechel Betshumim Yat, Bechoshesh, that maybe he'll die, her husband will die, and now she won't be able to eat Shruma, because she's a Grusha, and she, a Grusha is not allowed to eat Shruma. So you see that we're choshesh even for truma for spakers. So therefore we should be choshesh. Maybe this Kohenis, this Bas Kohen, became pregnant from Yisrael. 
certainly even in Truma with Choshen was fakos. The difference between our Mishnah here, that we're not Choshen for Ibra, and the Mishnah of Shtei Nashim, and it's Chalfu, that there we are Choshen for Ibra, is because Sham, we're talking about Benesuin, Benesuin Choshen for Ibra. In other words, a woman who has nuts, she turns over a kind of a douching kind of thing that she shouldn't become pregnant after the be'ila, and therefore not choshish that she became pregnant from a be'as nuts. So the Gemara asks, "When Asu and Mi'choshu, are we actually uh, suspicious, suspicious, or considering the likelihood that she became pregnant after Nisuin, and therefore?" We're going to ask her for Truma Tanya, Bas Kohen Shenisais Li Israel, Umais. So her husband died on the day of Hanasu, and after he consummated the marriage, Toveles, because the Tumas Bia, the Torah says, Vayikra Tesvavi Isha Sharish Kav Isha Sashim Khazara, Rachatsuva Mai Vitamu Adha Are, Vokhels Vichumala Ere. So Abbas Cohen goes back to eating Truma's base of Bia after the death of her husband, if he didn't leave any zera. So we see that even in Nisu, and we're not Choshesh, that maybe she became pregnant and the Uber would pass her from eating Truma. Omar of in truth, we should be Choshesh for Ibur even for one Bia of Nisu. And in this price of Tovel's Vocheles, that she eats Truma, it means ad arboim up until the first 40 days after the Nisu and after the Bila. The Ilo Ma'abra, Olo Ma'abra. So certainly she's a lady true. And the Af Imi Abra, ad arboim yom to Yitzira, before the child is, form, is formed as a as an as as an, as an Ubar, Maya Bialma. And therefore the woman is not considered Muberes, she's not a Sura Lachilus Truma. Now after 40 days, she ain't she's not allowed to eat Truma because maybe she became pregnant. And then we wait until three months from the second and the third month. At the end of the third month, we'll know for sure whether she's pregnant. Amalei Abai, Abai says to Yosef, if you're telling me that up to 40 days, she's not considered Muberes, a Masifa, Bas Cohen, who eats Truma after the death of her husband, and then a Hukar Upra Pimeyeo, Tehemekul Kelis, the Mafreya. Right? She's going to have to pay for the Truma that she ate, because now it became clear that she was Muberes and she was a Surba Truma. So she'll have to pay what's called Karen Vachom, it's like a Zar Shachal Truma B'Shogeg. And it seems to be that she has to pay on all the achilos from the beginning of her pregnancy. According to you, that up till 40 days, even if she's Muberes, she's Muteres, she's a Ladi Truma, so why is she Mukukeles Lemafreya on this entire period of time for the first 40 days that she ate, she ate the head? Rav Chiz, the answer is, yeah. She's not Mekukelis vis-a-vis that which she ate beheta for form yom. My Mekukelis, what does it mean when it says in the in the Sefer it says Mekukelis the Mafreya al ezes man trichol shalim shuper ubra so we go back retroactively to pay Karen Vachomish on all the Achilos up to, but not beyond the Arboim Yom. It my Abal Arusoso, the base Chomov. So man, after Arison, he had a relationship with his Arusa in the house of her father, and she became pregnant, and she gave birth, Rav HaMarav Vlad Mamze. So even though the Edim are testifying that he had a relationship with her when she was in Arus, 
we're going to say that since an arusa of this sort is prutza, then kishem shall oras bole, af acherim bole, v'tolim shall vlad ba mihem, ki hem arot, af vlad, shenolad mi Yisrael shesish mamzos. Shmuel Amar, Havlad Shtuki. There's only a suffix whether she became pregnant from the Oros of another person, and therefore the Vlad is a suffix mamsa. Omar Rav, Mistabra Milsa Derav, the Daimo Me Alma. We find the logic of Rav more compelling that the Uber should be considered a Vade Mamsa. But only in a case where the Arusa is daima me'alm, which means Maranenima achrea, she's in some anoshim achem. There's a rumor where there's smoke, there's fire, that she's been uh, having loose relationships with other men. Avalo daima me'alm, if there's no such rumor, basra dide shadinale. We assume that the Vlad came from the Oros, for the Vlad is Kosh. And Omar of Mina Aminale. How do I prove this din? The Kani, it says in the Mishnah that a Kohen, Shebal Bas Yisrael Biznus. Lo Tochal Betruma. Yolda Tochal Betruma. Now she has a son from a Kohen. And that son could be Machel HaTruma. So Robert tries to clarify the case in the Mishnah. Hey, Chidon. If there's a rumor going around that she had this with others, is Yolda my tocha? What gives her the right to eat truma? We don't know that the Boel was a Kohen. And we should be choshesh that just like she had Be'ilu with a Kohen, this Kohen, so too she had Be'ilu with others. So how do we know that this son is the son from the Kohen? How could he be Machel of the truma? Alav. The Mish is talking about a case where she was Nivelis and which she's Hashuda to have had Bia from this particular Kohen, but not from other people. They're not spreading rumors about her that she was such a Hafkeira that she had Znus with other Baal. And if we don't have any suffix that another man might have, other than this Kohen, might have had relations with her. We assume that this Kohen is the father of the blood. Because we know that this uh, coin certainly had beer with her. And the same thing applies to an Arus who had a relationship with his Arusa and she became pregnant. We're not going to be Chochet that maybe the Vlad is not from him, the Arus. If there's no, this is Robert's point, if there's no rumor going around that she had Znus with others, Uma Hasim and Mishnah. Dilahai, Isura. That as far as this Kohen, she has an Isur. Be Yichudim Apnuya. Coach came to Biola. Ulahai, Isura. And nevertheless, Basra di Desha Dinale, we assume, we're told that the Vlad came from the Kohen. Of course, we know that he had a relationship with her, and there's no rumor going around that she had a relationship with other men. Is how much more so hach in the case of an artist, the lahai isura lahai atera, that as far as another man is concerned, he's not allowed to have yichud with her, and certainly not beer with her. She's an ashesish, who lahai, but for the artist is a atera. Again, what that atera means is that no isura of ashesish. I mean, this is his wife. His lokalsh can search for she told her. That the Vlad came from the Arus, who we know for certain came had a relationship with her. And the Isu is only an Isu Drabana. We're not going to be told on someone else if there's an absence of any rumor to the contrary. And Abai disagrees with Rava in explaining Rav Shita Amale Abai. Abai turns to Rav and he says, I don't accept your proof. Even though there's no rumor, the Vlad is a mams. My timer, the Just as she was mafka herself to the Arus, 
she was mafkira as And even though there's no rumor going around, umas nisan. And the Mishnah that says with tolerance of light, but going and not bacherim, that's the case of how you shneim chavushim and beis hasurim. He and she were locked up in a jail, and therefore it's not possible for anyone other than the coin to have beer with her. Ikad Amri. Now the Gemara gives another version of the Machlok Shin Rav and Shmuel. If the Arus concedes that he had relations with her, and there's no one saying that she had relations with anyone else, Kuliyamalo Pligi, even Abai agrees to Rava de Basra, according to the Lishna Basra that we're studying now, we are Miyaches the Vlad to the Arus, and the Vlad is Kosher, Vahachi Itmar. Then, under what, in what scenario do we have Machlok Shin Rav and Shmuel, Arusa She Ibra? And we don't know that the Oris had a relationship with her. And therefore, maybe she had a, a, an Ibur, she's pregnant from another man. Rav Amar Vlad Mamzer. The Vlad is a Vade Mamzer, because we assume the Vlad came from Rov HaOlam. Shmuel Amar Vlad Shtuki is a Suffolk Mamzer. Amar Rava Mistabra Milse de Rav. The view of Rav is logical when he makes the Uber into a Vada Mamzer, Dafka, in the case of the Arusa, Lo Damyamine, Vidamyami Alba. We don't know that the Oris had a relationship with her. And there's a rumor going around that she had his noose with another man. Here we turn to Daf Ayn. Avol Damyamine. If we know for sure that the Oris had a relationship with her, Afal Gav the Daimul, I mean, even though there's a rumor floating around that she had snooze with others, Basri Dide, Shadina, Lay, we're going to assume that this blood came from the Oris because we know for sure that she had a relationship with the Oris. We don't know for sure that she had a relationship with any other man, even though there's such a, a rumor flowing around. Here we're up to Omar Rava, which Mr. Shem will pick up. In the next, in the next year.